Today we make a simple and sweet St. Patrick's Day cake. So you're gonna start off with whatever batter you would like. I just did a yellow from a box because that's how I was rolling that day. And I'm using these little heart-shaped cake pans. Now, if you want a giant thing, you wanna share a lot of cake with people, then you can do larger ones. But I just thought these were pretty cool. So greased them up, put in some flour to make sure that they didn't stick, and then filling it up about halfway and giving them a little tap to get the air bubbles out and get it evenly cooked. So after baking, just gonna loosen it up, let it sit in the pans for just a few minutes, like maybe five minutes, and then take it out so it doesn't get too soggy. So I use these same ones on the Valentine's Day cakes that I recently did, and I realized if you put four together, it looks like a four leaf clover. <laughs> so take an extra one, cut it in half, and then I actually debulk that, just cut off the top there, while leaving the others rounded because I thought that that looked best. I'm taking some frosting that I dyed. Um, if you want, just check out the recipes that I usually use. I've got some videos down below. But I'm frosting the sides and putting a little down on the plate so it helps secure it. And then I'll go to the tops. Um, <laughs> I barely had enough frosting. I underestimated and I had kind of like divided it up into different colors for different <laughs> projects. So be careful about that. But I am using a star shaped tip and then I'm just gonna go around and individually pipe them on. Um, I've also got a link to my Amazon store where you can get a free membership trial and um, get cool bags like this because they are lifesavers. <laughs> you don't wanna just use Ziploc bags and honestly reusable ones like I I just don't mess with them like I probably should. Anyway, the basics of it, I'm not going to show you the whole thing as I go, but um, one note here, if you did want to obviously liven these up a little bit, you can add some extra flavoring like candy canes. I did that, did that in a video recently. You could have sliced them and put in a layer of like uh, strawberry raspberry jam. I don't know. I can't think. <laughs> Anyway, here's the finished product. Really fun, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, you know, sometimes there are these big elaborate projects, and then we realize we'll never get around to them. But this is one you can get around to. <laughs> um, I'd love for you to check out my other videos, see if there's something else you would enjoy. And if you enjoyed this, share and subscribe. And I hope the luck of the Irish is with you. We'll see you next time.